नमस्ते थैंक यू अरविंद भाई यू नो यू आस्ट अ वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन सो यू नो अगेन दिस गैंग यू सी लाइक हाउ मच ऑफ यू नो सफिस्टिकेटेड वेपन एंड असॉल्ट राइफल्स हैव बीन कॉज सो फर्स्ट आई वे लाइक आई एम नॉट एक्सक्यूजिंग एवरी थिंग आई एम ऑलवेज स्पीकिंग अगेंस्ट खालिस्तान but hmm. try to think of six as flesh and blood humans hmm. if these are people carrying assault rifles and people say like sikhs don't speak up anything right hmm. so the state has to enforce rule of law and take care of this criminal elements otherwise nobody can speak Correct. if somebody is carrying like 40 assault rifles in a gurdwara what can you do hmm. so that is point number 1 hmm. now again you know this is an entire nexus so what happened outside san francisco you know everybody saw on tv and you know these ugly people were using you know filthy slurs for brahmin women hmm. and now everybody saw that and it became such a controversy the thing is i am in touch with people who are there you know who went hmm. now the women they were insulting they were actually jatsik women who had come for the you know support of the indian indian government and against this khalistanis hmm. and you know they are very tough women and you know they were crying of course but then they were like you know we are we are going to fight this you know thugs back Hmm. and you know they they are actually now cooperating with the police as well hmm. and they had spoken with these protesters before hmm. this protest happened you know because they arrived early because there is a lot of traffic in san yeah. francisco what when they spoke to them you know these people even who came to protest they were completely lost hmm. so they are working without papers in a gas station or something and i had released uh, that video of simran ji singh man hmm. there is an entire nexus of uh, asylum immigration fraud Hmm. so what they do is they you know they enter through mexico that's why hmm. this is happening much more in california than elsewhere they enter california illegally and then hmm. simran ji singh man who is himself sitting in the indian parliament hmm. he writes them letter and he accepts like i have released this tape where he is saying for a fixed price he releases a letter for you know to uh, to get them asylum there and hmm. i know people who have got asylum if you want to do uh, a story here hmm. and and they get you know so they have to protest out, outside the indian consulates and you know break the windows because now you know the indian government will complain against them now they basically use the same thing like mm. i can help you get this letters they mm. say the bjp government in india is in power right wing hindutva government is in power and the sikhs are under attack see they have filed firs against us mm. so they use the same firs against them to get asylum in united states so this whole uh, you know there is a mafia nexus going on and it is full of criminality of you know uh, 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 gangs and uh, drugs and guns hmm. and this is what you know you asked a very good question what we can do we have to make this case to the us government hmm. because for example if somebody has fled india yeah. and you know gone to us okay he has broken some laws and you know he has broken a window but here to do this asylum fraud it says actually a very 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 serious felony and we should make this case to the american government that all this you know khalistanis who have used simran ji singh man's letter their case should be you know reexamined because they are a danger not just to us uh, india relations hmm. they are a danger to the american citizens and as you have seen they are carrying guns and if you know now they are going to shout you know that you are sikh phobic or anti sikh again they don't look at these people look at the people you know you, the same report that you are quoting hmm. the people that they have hurt and killed from new york to california are the sikhs so for the hindus they you know uh, uh, you know desecrate the temple hmm. but if you look at the physical violence almost all of the physical violence of this khalistanis the victim have been the sikhs has been put made but you know they sikhs. they are very good at playing at this game that we are the victims and something so you should make them guess we are not against the sikhs sikhs are the victims of these thugs correct and so, you know we are doing as much we as doing you have to put pressure on the indian government and indian government has to put pressure on the american government fair, fair point made puneet and the uh, aspect is that they have to be called goons and vandals and these k gangs that's how they have got to be identified separated outright from the community and not allowed them to try and uh, override and paint the broad brush the entire community in the same way you- so arvind i will i will answer i just want to make a quick point was sushant ji was saying hmm. and you know he was saying yeah uh, you know what the indian government can do he like okay forget dealing with it don't undermine us hmm. what the indian government is doing is not just not you know putting a hand on this khalistanis it is undermining so for example hmm. they gave this pravasi bhartiya award to this khalistani who was putting langar hmm. at this uh, uh, farmers protest hmm. why they are not patriotic six they are not why padma vibhushan to bian singh who sacrificed his life and you know saved punjab from terrorism hmm. so what are they doing they are appeasing the so i have a bigger problem not that they are not doing anything they are hmm. undermining the patriotic sikhs and they are placating and appeasing the khalistanis this is my grudge against the indian government that hmm. is point number 1 hmm. now the point you said arvind is uh, is actually very yeah. important hmm. that this nuisance is coming from canada yeah. so f- earlier it was restricted in canada 
and you know we had like i i grew up in delhi we went to gurdwara so it was a perfectly nice place mm. and you know uh, both of your other guests have also been to gurdwaras they know what spiritual yeah. peace you find but the thing is with canada with social media now this nuisance is coming and mm. you see it was exactly the same in afghanistan so the thing is pakistan was giving a safe space to this all this taliban and you know uh, right. militant elements that you go in you you have a refuge here and you attack in afghanistan and america lost the war there and this is exactly what is happening they have a safe space in canada and from there they control all this uh, you know uh, chaos in punjab right. and this is why captain amrinder singh he said i think a decade ago and he was absolutely right that india should put sanctions on canada or maybe you know take them to the united nations hmm. it is a third, what do, what do we gain from canada nothing we hmm. gave them the vaccines and we are not able to put this canada you know straight what is the purpose of so our muscular need, foreign policy we need to so say- it is being used as a safe space by all this khalistani element hmm. and you know you have to do something simple so for example we have a high commissioner level which is the highest diplomatic engagement you reduce it to charge the affairs Hmm. What what the hell do we get from you're Canada? You're saying some one oh, diplomatic some, offensive. The yeah. other thing you have also said is that yeah. no fly area. Just declare anybody with these kind of antecedents with a Canadian passport, they can't fly over Indian soil. Make it difficult. No, no. Yeah, Khalistanis, yeah. Khalistanis. Uh-huh. You know, yeah. of course. Yeah. yeah. Anybody with these kind of antecedents. I said that the same right. thing. Right. With these kind of antecedents, right. 